And welcome back to Theme Park Wizard, and today is the big Disneyland, Disneyland Resort construction update that I've been promising you all week long. So here it is. This is from my shot. This is from Monday's my shot update. They provided some awesome aerial images. Nothing special to see here. This is a beautiful, beautiful update. A uh, beautiful aerial photo from the park. You can see almost every single land in here, and it just looks fantastic. Like this video if you miss Disneyland. That's it. Simply just like it if you miss Disneyland. Subscribe if you like some theme park content. But as you make our Disneyland and Disneyland Disney California Adventure Tour, I also want to remind you that Buena Vista Street does open tomorrow, November 19th, and I'll be there on Saturday. So subscribe for a video on Saturday to see what that looks like. But as you travel over the main hub of Disneyland, you can see. The gardens and stuff are still ripped out of the central hub, um, as they will be probably until next year, until the, maybe a week or two before the park opens. But bigger thing is that the French fry rocks have been, the last of them have been de demolished, and, and that just looks fantastic. Now, the entry project will probably be a little bit delayed until at least the park reopens, so we have those beautiful green, but temporary, but green planters there um, until uh, well, next year. Uh, and the rest of the park is just looking beautiful, beautiful. There's, you see some new pavement, kind of a color change on the bottom of the pavement. That's because that's some brand new pavement right there. And the hub's really looking pretty. Unfortunately, no Christmas decorations in the hub. Well, maybe, I don't know, maybe, may, maybe, so... Open Main Street in December, depending on cases and depending on the success of Great Vista Street. We'll see. We'll see. Moving on towards another shot of the hub here. This one looking into the Rivers of America, Rivers of America, which at first glance I thought looked a little bit drained, but I realized nope, didn't look drained. That's just the docks extending into the river. But if you look on the lower, uh. Entrance to Frontierland, the bridge is complete, it's widened, and it's ready to go. So they finished that project, which is fantastic. Moving over to Fantasyland, we'll start, we'll start to see some big progress here. You can already see some big progress on the carousel. It's not in sca scaffolding anymore, it's behind walls, but it's not in scaffolding. And got a beautiful, bright new blue paint job. It was looking faded before, but it has a bright blue canopy. To withstand the bright California sun, it's looking great. We'll take some closer looks at co closer looks at Snow White and the carousel right now. Here it is, Gracie, from the other side. See so the bright blue canopy on the carousel, and then Snow White's lighter tone colors, very lighter, more cheery, um, taking away the scary aspect for the children and for everybody else. And giving it a proper ending that we'll finally get to see in 2021. We're supposed to see it this year, of course, but that we'll obviously we'll get to see in 2021. It'll be very exciting. Can't wait to go to the parks in 2021. There'll be plenty of stuff to see at all parks, not just Disneyland, but um, Universal and stuff as well. And good stuff. Here's another closer photo of the canopy, how the beautiful carousel that looks, how beautiful the carousel looks, as well um, as the Snow White. Scary Adventures, Snow White Adventures, um, lighter facade, and nice uh, roof work, nice tile work on the uh, the roofs of those uh, tower, watchtowers in the castle as well. Making a quick stop to Tomorrowland just to show you how dirty Space Mountain is. Um, while other parks of the park have gotten a little maintenance, Space Mountain is just, like the rest of Tomorrowland, resting away, as they say. But don't worry, this probably before the, maybe before the park will be open, but um, this will definitely be cleaned up, um, I'd say maybe about a month or so, or just a few weeks before the park is scheduled to reopen. There's no real, no real point in cleaning it now because, you know, no one's going to see it. But, making our, our second to last final stop in Disneyland, you see the beautiful Splash Mountain over there, which, by the way, Disney announced that the Splash Mountain Princess in the Fog retheme will be fast-tracked. Um, Rumors had it starting in 2022. I don't know if Fast Track means next year or what, but you'll still get final rides into Splash Mountain um, when you go to the park. But the scaffolding is off of the Haunted Mansion, so that looks great. 
and uh, hopefully that refurbishment is finally done. Then a quick peek at Mickey and Minnie's Runway Railway, which we've been on some other construction progress, uh, construction updates on more recently than a more than the big Disneyland one. But here's an aerial photo, which we didn't see, which you can see on the ground photos. But this aerial photo shows that about at least 80% of the building is constructed like fully vertical, and 80% of the tile is up on those, on the roofs, look at that, I mean, that's massive, it's a massive building, it's massive, it's getting um, built very, very quickly, um, this should be fully up, definitely by Christmas, um, there'll probably be a full, uh, fully scaffolded, fully scaffolded on the sides, potentially, by Christmas, by December, this should definitely be fully up, they may take a Christmas, or Thanksgiving break, but by definitely that, mid-December, I say the building will be fully up. Moving over to DCA, and this is what um, I know I've gotten a few of you. I have commented on my latest videos asking, where's an Avengers Campus update? Well, here we finally, finally got one. But first, we're going to show you that the, I'm going to show you that the admin building is finally done. There's that, uh, the admin building by Avengers Campus. This looks like an office building in the back, but as you can see, kind of, it's themed to Luigi's in the front. And this is supposed to be built to make room for the e-ticket, of course, which is most likely delayed, but we'll be watching for progress on that as well. And in these Avengers Campus photos, you'll see the Guardians of the Galaxy Tower most likely blocking a lot of, uh, not a good views here. But we still got a lot of good, a lot of interesting stuff. As you see, the shades of yellow and black, that's the Ant-Man microbrewery right there. Or, uh, actually, is that the bathrooms? That might be the bathrooms, actually. The Amber Micro Brewery is the building to the immediately below it. But I wonder if those are the part of the bathrooms or part of the micro brewery. I'm not too sure. But if you look closely, the pay lot of the pavement is down and uh, it's, it's laid over. And then we just have those big mountains. Dirt, well, that's gone. All the pavements there. There's some canopies that were installed um, by an Spider-Man attraction at Q. For the outdoor portion of that, um, it's a little bit closer look here. Um, those look like I don't know if they're I don't know how. I hope they are like metal and not. I don't hope they, I hope they don't look like the like the fantasy and theater canopies because those look pretty cheap. But we'll have to see a more in person view. I highly doubt we'll be able to see anything this weekend at Buena Vista Street, but we'll have to see. Um, we'll have to see. But either way, I do hope they provide a lot of shade for when we're standing in the outdoor queue for Spider-Man when we get to next year, because uh, the Southern California sun will be hot, especially in the summer when this might open. Um, and you can see the Web Slingers gift shop and the ride; those are just about those have been done or have looked done for a while. For a while, you don't see the ride what the ride vehicles look like, and them in motion. Loading station. Click on the top right corner of the video right now as um, you can click back to my video of where Josh Morrow showed an exclusive video of that which is pretty awesome and IAPA on Monday but yes this is so far are the only views of Avengers Campus we have got the guard emission breakouts tower is kind of really blocking that view of the central hub but hopefully uh, maybe eh, I'll try to get some shots when I get to Buena Vista Street I highly doubt I'll be able to get anything um, because you probably can't go past, um, Carthay Circle, but we'll, we'll see, I'll try my best. I did see those, my shot actually did a preview today of Buena Vista Street, and we can go all the way down, I mean, Award Wieners open, we can go a little bit, definitely a decent amount past that, almost to the Hollywood Land mural, take a picture of the red car trolley, and go through about, a, what I say, is at least half of Hollywood Land, and this ex initial opening, so that's pretty awesome. Um, they didn't see, I didn't see how far in Grizzly Peak you can go or up on the parade art you can go, but we'll get to see again if this initial expansion works well, which I'm sure it will. Um, hopefully, it'll expand to the rest of the park like Knott's is doing. Even if it's a paid event, I'd totally be down to do that. But 
What do you guys think of this Disneyland construction update? Are you excited for the parks to reopen and for these projects to be finished? Or will you be at Buena Vista Street? Let me know in the comments below. Subscribe for more theme park updates. And as always, have a fantastic day.